episode on inner child adults and secure attachment, relationships, healthy self-worth, the longer episode will be on after this one. So that's for any one of you who's on TikTok, you'll want to go to YouTube and you're going to start with, I'm using the term inner child adults for those of us who have our whole inner child and we don't reparent, we've already, for those who have, or those who are consistently reparenting, well, I have beautiful news. It's called a lot of people that are doing good therapy. And that's with narcissism, borderline, with any of the personality disorders, as well as childhood trauma. By being in a healing and awareness journey, they don't end up with other strombolies, meaning the one from Pinocchio, the puppeteer master, and they don't end up, in fact, in lustful, re-traumatizing uh, Pinocchio with wooden body. Those are the stories I'm using. Uh, push-pull dynamics okay so the beauty is seeing those who are claiming their whole self versus the ones who demonize or romanticize which you know there's a bunch of donkeys out there they think that they're not but anyone who's not a smart human being is going to be a jackass to those of us who are securely attached we have healthy self-worth women men and they's and most of them have brains that assimilate information in the absence of what we like or don't like because, you know, that's for those who don't know how to use what's it called responsibility. Real love is about responsibility of self. And I have it pointed out every now and then, forgetting to mention true spirituality automatically knows that we live a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self because I'm a whole three-year-old heart that shares the floor. But I got lucky. I have a twin. So I don't wear a mask and never have. Which is why if somebody says you did something wrong, I'll ask why, then I'll talk about it, and then I'll figure out if there's something I can do about it. If I don't want to do something about it, I won't. And that's why I know that those who fall for strombolies think of those of us who have healthy self-worth as uh, something we're not. And then, though, when they end up with the other side of the coin, the angry squirrels from Cusco land, the ones who are not into real love, again... So people are into real love. They learn that self-love means you take your inner child, you heal yourself from childhood trauma. It's 2024 and you get accountable. So accountability. I have this lovely woman. She's a narcissist and she's healing. And I was just watching how she shares about accountability and how thanks to her being in therapy, it's been two and a half more years. And she also has borderline. I think she's healed or remission. I forget what's, what words she uses, but... She's working on the lens. So once you understand your lens and you're taking accountability and ownership, you're going to notice the ones who are. In fact, it's a sad story to see that there are people who are ignorant and they are, if you ask me who's evil, the ignorant and educated, lack of education human beings who continue to demonize and create monsters out of human beings versus learn attachment and trauma and take accountability for their own inner child wounds. So yeah, a man who's talking about fucking a woman and then feeling, what was it, contempt, disgust, and shame is a human who needs therapy. And nothing more, nothing less. If you're a smart man, woman, or they, you're going to know it because you're going to immediately know, wow, to speak words like that means not only that you might have potentially thought this to say, because anything that comes out of your mouth will potentially be, not for a fact, for sure, because we all speak things that we don't think. Okay, so we're not going to make blanket statements. It's a potential. Potentials are different. So when you have an integrated brain, you know about potentials. That's why we don't have only one potential. Oh, there's a bunch of varieties. That's what happens when you have intellectual, emotional, and mental intelligence. And you're a human being who knows that your thoughts and emotions aren't truths and that nobody, no matter how many books they throw at you or certificates, say they're, they're no more informed than you are. I mean, there might be experts on some subject matters. So accountability is where, if I and you, though, are chit-chatting, and I am an emotionally speaking available person and you're not. And let's say I say something about how I feel, like your tone, and you disregard me completely. You're not taking accountability at all, nor criticism, if you will. If you tell me your tone bothers me, and I've had this happen before, it wasn't the tone as much as it was uh, me doing this thing as I was talking. So for the remainder of the conversation, I disengaged from doing this thing. But at the same time, the demand uh, was uh, let me make my situation yours it was projection and uh i'm like this is not the way that i'm going to be able physically to communicate because i don't talk this way that you just came in corrected me made whatever it is your mine and didn't take any of putting into practice how you can self-soothe yourself so it's a two-way street when you're actually both people and or more 
in a relationship in general. These are all, all relationships, okay? So a pacha knows how to handle a Cusco, which are all adaptive children that don't take accountability. They can be maladaptive too. It doesn't matter what lens they're wearing. It can be a simply put person who has trust breaks to a person who has big or small trauma. If I meet them, I'll know which one is which. And so when you see the ones who are inner child adults, again, they're taking ownership of their emotional plane. So they're bringing forth the depth of them. They like to have real love, not something pretend. And then so they like to have their heart in the mix. They don't shy away from it, but that's because they also understand their own lens. So they know the hollowness. They know the yuckiness about jelloing because jelloing is called the meshing. And that's when you actively don't have your own self identified and you're not creating yourself. In fact, your core self still has shame, blame, fault, revenge, guilt, everything that an inner child that has not been reparented by the owner. So you still don't want to be seen by healthy self-worth people. So that means you're going to still go into jelloing with Stromboli type people, which are squirrels from Cusco land. So they're going to be porous, love dependent people because there's a push and pull dynamic between those who are basically, I'm going to just say anxious and avoidant because see, that's a match made in heaven for the ones who need to have a power struggle, which are any codependent type people, which is anyone who doesn't heal their inner child. So this is inner child adult is different. And again, I'm just using the verbiage because I'm an inner child with my adult who shares securely uh, the tone and the mannerisms. They're not going to fly. So in the case of where I know I won't be able to meet a demand, I will appreciate that somebody's been able to share with me how they feel. If they weren't, then I'll be, I'm so sorry for having overstepped my grounds in either way or under any time. <laughs> Pacha knows how to say, I'm so sorry, because that's what adults with accountability know how to do. And then they also want to build relationships, real ones. So the part about Stromboli, what is the saddest thing ever is that I see Pinocchios with wooden bodies, as the lovely narcissist lady was saying, if they're not taking accountability and doing a healing journey seriously, you're saying the sky is blue and they're saying the sky is purple, they're going to continue walking. In fact, the Pinocchios with wooden bodies, I meet them all the time, as well as with ears and tails and donkeys and you name it. I found it hard to believe that my first three years of life have anything to do with my relationships and yet look at me and how old I am and what's going on. And I think, wow, anybody want the Zen master with the laundry in your body? Because that's where I'm seeing all of you going. Because the minute you bring in suffering within love, you don't know Stephen Porges or your mammalian heritage for that matter. So you obviously didn't take ownership of understanding what a mammal is and that the longing to be with each other safely is our heritage not the push and pull of dominating and domineering, which instead is a power play between people who have not become full-fledged inner child adults, which means taking ownership of the life that is within you, which means getting integrated in your brain. Because the integration part is important. Your left is part of your consciousness, your right. The right, everything that comes up from in here, as long as you're not claiming to move into secure attachment, and there's coaches who talk about our secure attachment as boring, in the longer episode, you'll hear me compare lust to sour sweet, which is yucky because it's really the composure of the biochemistry of blood because I have interoception. So anytime something's going on in my body, I know it and I know what poison feels like. In fact, it's very much when the, there's a biochemistry, it's not poison, obviously, but when you look at what anger spits out and how it dumbs you down and a bunch of other things. So I'm just saying lust is a specific energy. Love, I compare it to honey and other bliss, mm, beautiful. Mm. It's like watching a waterfall on a beautiful day when there's all the sparkly and, but it's not just that, it's a feeling. It's a feeling that is amazing. And when you're with a person and people who are their inner child adults, you're going to know that. So real love is actually when you are in the mammalian heritage, not in your sympathetic and then, you know, switching on and off between hypervigilance, closing your heart, open your heart. So people who don't take ownership of their inner child, they don't live their inner child adult. They don't live real love. They won't know any different. They're going to keep saying the sky's purple and that, you know, things like hangover, mean girls, and people doing whatever they do is something that is called love. Well, lust is very different than love. Visceral is very different than your mammalian heritage. Obviously, there's a human suffering love group for those who don't want to move into their higher human conscious potential. But for those of you who do, secure attachment, come on over. Inner child adult, real love. We love to expand consciousness and in its infinity and beyond. And it's really nice to have men, women, and days who are functional adults and of all walks of life because everyone who is taking their self seriously is moving into their home and it's heaven in the body.